Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and today we're going to be going through a Twitter thread where a bunch of weirdos online are essentially complaining about Gary from Nerdrotic's new shirt that says Make Marvel Mail Again, which was a joke shirt that they made to for the fact that the MCU has become the MCU, and it's used as a joke essentially, and a lot of people are complaining about it in the comments, especially this one guy right here. Who says, imagine Dick writing a 53-year-old meth dealer. Which, again, this is not who Gary is anymore. It's like they can still continue to bring this up because they're so salty that a man who was essentially a felon. Who's now an ex-felon. Who cleaned himself up. Has now become a huge success and a huge fight in the culture war. Fight for pop culture. And they're mad about it. They're mad that he's seeing all the success that he's seeing. And he deserves all the success that he's seeing because he's doing something really good with Friday Night Tights. And, of course, in Gary fashion, he'll respond by saying, I wish you wouldn't have I just been trafficked. <laughs> so it's essentially a joke on on a certain someone who believes that if you take her digital image, that that's considered trafficking, which it's not. But we're actually going to go through the thread here. Make sure you, you know, you... You grab your popcorn and take a seat. You know, grab your seat. <laughs> like that. And uh, let's jump right into it. Very much needed beanie with the slogan, Make Marvel Mail Again. <laughs> that shirt will trigger quite a few people. Oh, yeah, it will. We'll get into it right now. <laughs> Grow up, mate. You really behave like a 12-year-old kid now. 12-year-old kid. How about get some grammar skills? Mine will be here Monday. <laughs> Quite possibly the saddest image on the internet. No, you are the saddest person on the on the internet. So, you're sitting here complaining about a t-shirt, bro. A, a very tame t-shirt, we'll say. He prefers the company of men. So now they're going with this gay narrative, essentially, even though he's married and has, like, what, two or three children, I guess. <laughs> Avatar of no testosterone Roy raging. Oh, yeah, look how female-dominated this franchise is. That's the point. The males love male movies because they are gay. You don't like seeing women. No, he doesn't like seeing women propped up and essentially being better than the male counterpart who is the original version of the character for the sake of diversity and inclusion and whatever. That's the point of this whole thing. Of course, this is actually one of Ripper's haters as well. This is Zombie Moses guy. MGU. Like, dude, this is probably you in real life. <laughs> this is probably you in real life. This is you triggered over it. So many triggered people responding. Love it. You really said, ooh, a female virginity shield activate. Yeah, considering he has multiple children, I don't think this makes sense. And this is not the own you think it is. And that's why you think this is an own. Somehow you think this is an own, I mean. That's what I mean to say. Somehow you think this is an own meanwhile he's married and has multiple children. Can't be a virgin if he had sex before. And popped out children. Are you gay? No, he just wants the heroes that he grew up reading about in the movies not being taken over and bettered by the female counterparts, the fake female counterparts that they're pushing in these movies. And making all the males dumb. What's it like to have such fragile masculinity? What's it like being triggered by a t-shirt? <laughs> So, are you gay by any chance? Clearly not. I felt the great disturbance in the force as if a million snowflakes all melted at once. <laughs> That's good. This is good too. Got mine last week, wearing mine right now. At least you're making the effort to come out the closet, I guess. Yeah, again, you're another one of those haters, bro. Come on now. You're a clown. You're probably one of those people that hates his The Boys opinions that he has. Marvel was never male. It actually always was, for the most part. Can't even imagine being this insecure and then telling everyone about it. Where is he insecure? This man's living the life. He managed to move to a better state that is in shitty California. Has a beautiful wife and children. And somehow he's insecure. Okay. Since 2020, there have been 10 male-led MCU projects as ever female. That seems pretty male to me. That's not the point he's making. You're clearly dumb. Otherwise, we have to change the mailman's name. I mean, sure, but they honestly need to make good characters, not just take female characters, make them super unlikable, and then not even properly use like Captain Marvel. That character was just pointless in the MCU. Only one A away from MMA. 
neurotic when women exist in any way. He has women on his show, you weirdo. He has Chrissy Mayer and X-Ray Girl on his show every single week on Friday Night Tights. What the fuck are you talking about? And you know it's all the clowns that are liking these stupid weirdo posts. I see your shirt and raise you, good sir. <laughs> MCU sucks. <laughs> we get it. You like muscular men drenched in sweat. No, we just like to see male characters that are not retarded and are actually superheroes. <laughs> happy for it. it takes courage to come out like that but the people that I interact with support gay rights I can tell you that we support gays but the world cannot be only men you can't change them. I'm sorry I hope you can learn to coexist with the opposite sex dude I don't I don't get this gay narrative it's so weird go back to your old job he's he's pretty happy with his current job by the way YouTube is a job it content creation is a job I know what you are suck it in Gary you only want a bunch of alpha males you meet. Usually when people want a lot of men around, it means they're into guys. That's not what that means. <laughs> Way over your head, bud. Sue Storm, Jean Grey, Wanda, Rogue, Emma Frost Storm. I could go on and on. Some of the greatest Marvel characters. Like, no shit. Unless they're not done properly in the movies like some of them have been. Like that trash reboot of Fantastic Four that they did. Or, the, or WandaVision. That show sucked. Don't drop that masculinity you got there. Seems fragile. Not really. So you're triggered by women now? No. Are you gay? No. <laughs> These people are so weird. I should grab my popcorn for reading comments. Hey, Gary, where can I buy one of those? As women clearly dominated by white patriarchy, I would probably wear it. Damn, I missed the times when women stood side by side with men, not humiliate them to prove the world. This is the exact point that Gary always makes with these movies. Exactly what this person just said. This is the type of shit they do in the movies now. They make they make the women humiliate the men. They talk down to the men. They are somehow better than them, better versions of them. This is the point he's trying to make. And these people don't seem to get it. Well, it's not about me for a minute. Why do you hate women? Here's the thing. Regardless of their opinion, it's an ugly shirt. The font is boring. And yet here you are. Oh, don't worry. They'll transition Marvel back to mail for you. They won't. Anti-SJW version of soy as fuck. Where can I buy that? Shirt of a virgin. Again, has two kids, has a wife. <laughs> Good move to trigger some stands. Someone's insecure. Gary Salt farming the stand. What a guy. My clown detector's off the charts. Again, the, the gay thing. We're back to the gay thing. Stunning and brave. Your belonging, sir, apparently, clown, even though he's clowning on you, motherfuckers, making you look stupid, making you react, making you respond. And I'm sitting here laughing at you all. Marvel Point Barry free to free if you're that eager. It still is, Gary. Again, no it's not. Uh, no it isn't. <laughs> Rent free. <laughs> okay. Finally, pure cringe. When did Marvel ever stop being male? Are you paying attention at all? Sure. Clearly not paying attention at all. Fucking love it. Grabbing the popcorn. Triggering intensify. This is going to trigger so many people. Again, we're back to the gay. Can you shut up? No, because clearly you're triggered by this. Parvel. <laughs> I would go with men because a lot of the males of these shows now are weak. Boxes of this shirt need to be sent to Disney immediately. I agree. Make Marvel male on male. Again, back to the gay. Jesus Christ, you put out the bait and it just can't help but biting on the hook. This is true. Me waiting on for your Ant-Man review while playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance. 2016 is down the hall and to the left. Me and Marvel had been female since the fucking 60s. Just wait, Marvel shows will blame those shirts and the idea behind them for why they fucked up Nebula. When we complain at what they did to a beautiful female character will respond, you wanted Marvel more male. That's my prediction. <laughs> yeah, that might that actually might just happen. People who wear this shirt in public. I doubt it. Gary's not fat, so I was wondering where you got this. Didn't you sell meth? See, this is one of those this is one of those things where it's like, dude, this is libel right here. This is this is factually incorrect factually incorrect i can smell the virginity through the screen oh this fucking clown this dragon age clown this is one of the most retarded people on the internet right here this man has such a hate boner for for jeremy griggs 
from Geeks and Gamers, for Eric July, for Gary. This guy has such a hate boner for everybody. He has all his little crap all over in here, his pronouns and all this other garbage in here. This feels weirdly homoerotic. <laughs> And Marvel Studios, we don't mean keeping the women look. We don't mean keeping keep making the women look like men. It's just true. I thought your whole thing was hating the alphabet community. Glad you're changing for the better. Again, back to the gay narrative. It's like these people don't understand and don't actually watch this guy. They just talk a bunch of bullshit behind a screen, and they like to be little keyboard warriors and type bullshit all the time. And it's like they they don't understand what the problem is. They do not understand what the problem is that. Gary has with the characters that they create in these movies. Again, back to the virgin thing. It's like, so the three main points, either Gary's a virgin, Gary's gay, or he hates women. It's, it's always the same stupid narratives all the time. The same three things all the time. Either he's gay, he hates women, or, or he's a virgin. It's like, None of those things can be anywhere near the truth. It's so crazy. like, Or that he's fragile or triggered. It's like, you are the ones that are triggered. You're the ones that are clicking on his post. Y'all are clicking on his post, probably following him. It's like, y'all are the ones that are doing it. And it's so funny that you would believe these things that you say. You believe these things that you say, even though it's y'all that are projecting onto Gary. It's so weird, bro. It's really, really weird. Like, the amount of the weirdos that 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 follow Gary and talk all this bullshit. I, I think on I think the video, the rest of the whole video speaks for itself. When I say these people are fucking weird and you need to touch grass. Thank you all for checking out this video. I would really like, really, really appreciate it if you did like the video. If you like it, comment below what your feelings about all this are. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all that way you get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.